Now, Jimmy, out there in wireless mic world, a lot of manufacturers are reacting to the whole spectrum reallocation that's been going on around the world by um, making products that work in the 2.4 gigahertz range, hmm. uh, so where we use our Wi-Fi in general. Which explains why radio mic receivers now look like wireless access They points. really do. They are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the System 10 uh, from Audio-Technica. Now, in this configuration uh, set up for, uh, well, Indie filmmakers, let's call it as it is. Yeah, or indeed anyone you know, sort of wanting to get some decent audio mm. into their DSLR. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of camera mount, mm. uh, I guess, microphones. This is designed as a solution for people who you know do need to, to be shooting someone some distance away. Yeah. Um, look, it's 10 milliwatts, so you're not going to blow anyone out of the water mm -hmm. with range or anything, but it's enough for, for most sort of applications where you're, you're using sort of, you know, fairly standard lenses. Mm -hmm. um, Look, this version comes with the uh, the belt pack and lavalier style microphone. Belt pack runs on a, on a pair of double A's, <laughs> nice solid battery cover. Yeah. You can tweak the level yeah. up or down. There's a little pair button inside. Um, it, it's fairly compact. It feels pretty robust. Um, and you've got a high impedance option as well. So you can connect mm. an instrument to that if you wish. Mm. Not sure why you'd do that with a camera receiver, but you could if you wanted. The receiver is kind of cool. It's rechargeable. It recharges from a USB style yep. power supply. It's got a little monitor out for headphones, headphones. Yep. and it's got uh, a mini jack output, which at this point you can see we've got connected into a DSLR, mm. but you can switch it into balanced mode mm -hmm. and actually get uh, balanced audio yep. out of it and then use a, a mini jack to yep. XLR cable and plug it into you know, what I like to call a real audio yes. input, <laughs> an XLR, a real audio. No, it is real. It Professional is real. grade. Um, but look, it's, it's. I think, you know, you're looking at the packaging, It's mm. this is really sort of designed to sit in that consumer market. Yeah. But if you know, if you found yourself with one of these, uh, you know, in a professional situation, mm. you wouldn't turn your nose up at it yeah, because it'd still get the job done. It's that prosumer crossover. You can run about eight, you can run eight systems mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, being you know, one of those prosumer products, it does test frequencies in the range. It tries to uh, automatically orient itself. It's actually transmitting two at the same time. So it can actually switch between them. That's the diversity. That's you know, cool. It's got the two antennas. Mm. Yeah. So it is taking it like that, that management um, and making it automatic, which is the sort of prosumer thing, but then giving you enough features to actually sort of work up into a bit of the professional level. Mm. Look, the only real issue I can see with it is, is this. <laughs> um, but turn you can always just turn it sideways and... Yeah. And most people use these things like cradles and so yeah. those weird mount things anyway. So mm. yeah, look, I think it's a good little thing. Yeah.